How's it going guys? Welcome to the FM Dugout. We're back for another episode of the Friday Fun Wheel and today the wheel has deemed that we have to play as Chelsea and as you all have seen we have to play a 4-1-4-1 defensive midfielder, asymmetric left-sided attacking midfielder. Um, never played that formation before so it'll be interesting and also on top of that we have another restriction that our team value has to be under 50 million and I've only just managed to do it. Um, so anyway, that's the challenge and um, well, I suppose one of the things I want to kind of cover is the fact that this would have been fairly easy if Chelsea didn't have so many players out on loan because you can actually look at the guys here, um, you know, good, like Jamal Blackman for instance, solid goalkeeper, 300k, less than 1% of the overall value of the squad for today. And I would have been able to play him, but he's away on loan, uh, so he can't play. And a lot of others, um, where certainly I think they are um, better than the players that have been left behind, uh, who haven't gone out on loan. But yeah, there's there's a huge amount. Um, you know, guys like uh, Izzy Brown, for instance, seven and a half million might have had a look in. Certainly, some like Casey Palmer would have had it at three million. Um, Tammy Abraham as well, 5 million. So these guys would have certainly had a look in if they'd been here, but they weren't. So what we were left with was um, slim pickings. Um, and given the fact that Mr. Hazard is 50 million on his own, uh, <laughs> it gives you some idea of the challenge at hand. Um, but that's what the Friday Fun Wheel is for, is to give a challenge and hopefully be a little bit entertaining. So... Today we're playing against Crystal Palace. Um, fate has looked kindly upon me, at least in terms of the fixtures uh, and the fact that we're playing someone at the lower end of the table for the team that I'm having to put out today. So um, let's crack on and look at the team selection here to see what we're playing. So here is the formation. Um, it's actually got it marked down here as a 4-1-2-3 DM asymmetric. Um, and I thought that was wrong. So I went and changed it. Um, back to uh, where is it? So here to the four one four one DM asymmetric AML, and it just kept it the same. So that is actually the formation. Um, I'm not going to show you because I've already had to reset <laughs> all the various uh, roles for each of the players playing. But this is the team anyway. So we start with Eduardo, who is a solid goalkeeper, 34 years old. He is actually cheaper than Jamal Blackman, so that probably wasn't a great example anyway. Uh, Todd Kane will play it right back at 2.6 million. Um, good player. I'm quite happy with, with picking him. John Terry, we all know about. Um, you know, 36 years old now, so getting on a little bit, but I'm sure he'll do the job today. And alongside him is Ola Ena, uh, 2.8 million, 20 year old. Uh, ideally, a right back who's playing <laughs> centre back position, so really having to kind of. Uh, shoehorn him into a position he's not necessarily that comfortable with um, certainly his stats and the physical side are much more suited to being a, a quick full back or wing back and then we have Juan Castillo who is a left sided midfielder having to play as a left back um, and again skills aren't particularly great, marking's not that fantastic so a couple of weak points in defence, uh, midfield we've got Nathaniel Chalaba in the defensive midfield position and uh, I'm quite happy with that, I mean six and a half million, he's a good player um, and up against Crystal Palace it should be okay there. Uh, Kennedy in right mid, uh, preferably a right winger, um, I'm sure he'll be able to do a decent job for us today. It's Ten million for him, uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek in the central mid position and again yeah there's definitely potential with him um, and maybe this is the sort of game where you would play him um, alongside some more experienced players, uh, but certainly we're looking for him to be one of the main players today. And uh, then we have Mason Mount uh, from the under 23s, 18 years old, valued at 88k, and he's getting thrown in in the number 10 position today. Again, this is exactly the sort of player that Chelsea would, would look to send out on loan. Probably never going to make it at Chelsea anyway. Um, but he's getting his debut today. Well, I assume it's his debut, has he ever played? No, he hasn't. Right, okay. Um, then we have Charlie Mus Musonda 
in the inside forward position again prefers the uh, num- number 10 role but we are going to play him out wide I think again he's, he's good enough to play there um, certainly uh, he's, he's got the technique and the dribbling and so on that you would probably be wanting pace, acceleration um, flair, you know quite happy with that, crossing's not particularly great but from an inside forward position you're probably going to cut in and look to, to shoot um, more often than cross and then up front we have Mishi Batshuai and um, 13 and a half million taking the punt with that I mean obviously there was going to be a couple of players that were going to be worth a decent amount of money um, I'm hoping he will be able to do the business tonight um, we couldn't really play guys like Diego Costa um, at 32 and a half million that's more than half the value of the squad just for one player so that's you know what we've got there um, on the bench it's all made up of youngsters, uh, all valued, uh, I think, ranging between 25k and, and 4k, uh, called the Silva 4.7 there. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, in terms of our instructions, I haven't actually done anything yet, but uh, just kind of thinking about it, probably want to play higher tempo wide. Um, and probably keep it at mixed passing direct, because I don't think our players are that good passing wise. Um, not looking for the full backs to get ups and certainly not going to look for the overlap I think that's probably going to do, keep it simple um, but yeah let's let's get this game underway um, shall we give Charlie Brown number 9 just for a laugh, there you go, you're now the new number 9 at Chelsea and Crystal Palace found it difficult, well I don't know whether we would be favourites with the team that we're choosing to play today anyway um, but this is what the Friday Fun Wheel is all about. It's it's about giving us challenges. It's about hopefully being entertaining, and um, we'll see whether or not we can come out of this with with three points. Um, I probably should have done all of these off camera. Um, so the wide players I do always want to put onto weaker foot. Always want hard tackling and closing down for the central midfield players. And that should be good enough. Let's give a passionate, we're the favourites, nobody cares. Certain to make a difference, nobody cares. Um, yeah, not looking too good. And we'll put match speed down because I always forget that. And we're on the way. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I know the first video didn't get a huge number of views. The fact that I didn't say what team we were playing as, um, maybe people don't click on it this time round. Uh, I've at least said that it's going to be Chelsea. Um, as I knew, obviously, at the time of making a thumbnail, who was picked by the wheel as I'd recorded the video as well. So it's not too much of a giveaway saying that it's, uh, woof, that was a close one. Um, saying that it's Chelsea that we're playing as. But, you know, let me know what you think of the idea, if you, if you think it's, it's worthwhile or you're interested in it. Um, this one's certainly more interesting, I think, than, than Port Vale last week. As uh, we get the ball forward to Batshuayi. Good effort from range. Mandanda with the save, putting it wide for a corner. Um, I think I can draw this. I think a score a score draw might be what will come out of it. Uh, mount with the corner and straight into the hands of the keeper. And we have a free kick here, Kennedy. And, well... You can say he worked the goalkeeper, but I think that was going wide, to be honest. And this sort of challenge here, if I'd had Chelsea with no extra challenge, I'd be playing a full strength Chelsea squad with this formation, and it would have been far easier, you know, could have had Victor Moses in the right side midfield position, uh, worth 19 million, Hazard could have played, attacking midfield or left, Diego Costa could have played up front, and just generally speaking would have been far easier, but I think the challenge um, certainly makes me think uh, I had to get the calculator out <laughs> to certainly make sure that the players uh, were totaling up to less than 50 million and it was I think it was about 49 million eight hundred and fifty thousand or something like that as uh, Kabai takes his free kick takes a big knock and Eduardo does well to reposition and uh, put that out for a corner so we're now 30 minutes into the game fairly even so far um, I haven't really been paying that much attention to the stats here. Uh, Kabai plays across the face of goal and no takers as Castillo puts it out for a throw-in. 
A little bit of pressure here from Palace, uh, but that's the end of that chance. Um, can we win the ball back? Nope, Townsend skips by his marker onto the left foot. And certainly, if we keep letting him do that, one of these times he will get a shot that will be on target and will give us a lot of problems. And I'm just looking now, Loftus Cheek has picked up an injury here. They're going to keep him on till half time and uh, see how it goes. He's got a bruised rib and I'd rather it had been someone like Mason Mount, I guess, because <laughs> um, it's changing like for like. Someone like Loftus Cheek is probably more able as Musanda takes the free kick. Had a few free kicks, just not being able to make it count. And I'm actually quite happy with the way that this the uh, the, the possession's going anyway. Um, I don't know what that's indicative of. If it's just this formation, if it's the team. I mean. Seven shots, six on target, and a hefty chunk of possession. Um, yet we're being told to say that it's disappointing. Um, I, I was going to try and G them up a bit here. And they <laughs> just... Oh, we don't want to listen to you. You've just come in through the door. Who the hell do you think you are? Um, right, Loftus Cheek is at 76%. Given the fact that this is a one-off, um, I'm not too bothered if he gets an injury that's going to last a month or so because I'm done after this game anyway. So, you know, we'll carry on with him uh, as the alternative, I think, is uh, George McEachern, uh, who I don't think is going to be nearly as good as Loftus-Cheek. Uh, Chalaba just taking his time, going for a little stroll uh, in Stamford Bridge. Loftus cheek now looking for some movement nobody in front of him making the run and now Palace look to attack here Kabai centre of the park wide to swear and nope no chance no chance okay another free kick uh, Masonda to Loftus cheek and back to Ana forward to Masonda Loftus cheek Mount now takes it on the chest down to Batshuayi and saved by the keeper. That was a good chance. It's probably going to be our best chance of scoring, I think, um, in this game. We just haven't taken a chance there. Uh, £13.5 million pounds, uh, for Batshuayi and he's, he's hit that directly at the goalkeeper. A pretty weak shot at that. Um, as Palace now come forward. Yeah, I mean, if you were just to look at the stats, you'd think it was decent um, but the, the kind of clear cut chances just haven't really been there apart from that that one opportunity um, now can Chalaba start off a move here whenever they delay in the ball like this you usually expect them to lose it but he's, he's not lost there Pal's just happy to kind of close close down the gap but not really press too hard uh, Batshuayi on the turn goes back to Loftus Cheek and Chalaba is unmarked here, forward to Mount. Controls it, two men closing them down fairly quick. Loftus cheek again to Chalaba. Just this little triangle of passing here. Mount is taken out of the game there by Sacco. And it's another free kick. And if only we had someone in our team with 20 free kick taken, we would have been a bit better off. So Sacco getting a yellow card for that. Another 55 minute mark. And can Musonda put this into the top right corner? No. Top of the net. And yeah. Not not great in that respect. Um I think with the sort of players that we have available to us, I'm probably not looking to make substitutions. Um Musonda's not having a very good game, it's got to be said. Um but we get a chance here, Kane, a little bit further forward now. Nope. Picked up by Mandanda. And again, the chance has gone. I think we will have to look at pushing a bit further forward. I, I kind of had a feeling Crystal Palace would take the game to us. But um, they, they generally have just sat back and, and had efforts from range. Um, Townsend now coming forward. Obviously going to cut in onto the left foot. Looking to pull the trigger from 25 yards. He does another weak shot. Um, 
and that's fairly comfortable for us and yeah we will let's let that change take effect now obviously we can't change the formation um, but I'm wondering if we can at least do something maybe uh, do we have we actually don't have anyone that can play there uh, we'll go with Kennedy and we'll put him in as a winger and then nobody Masonda's really that's not no there's really no uh, Kane's not too bad there actually I guess so maybe we'll bring on Cole De Silva there and we'll try something like that um, I mean our other option up front instead of Batshuayi yeah I, I, I don't see a player like that getting the goal today <laughs> telling Cole De Silva you have the ability to make the difference here and uh Free kick drawn. Can we do something from here? Deep free kick. We're not going to get a highlight for it, I don't think, are we? No. Um, well, I think this just goes to show if you have a team that's not worth a great deal in the English Premier League, it's going to be pretty difficult to win. Masonda plays that in and comes back to him pinging about in the box but uh, no chance there oh dear Chalaba's missed his interception there fortunately Schlupp is quite slow Benteke you now punching with the effort Eduardo can't save chance still there for Crystal Palace Terry with the header away Kane now picks it up and hopefully that's the danger past 15 minutes to go now, I'm so glad I'm not doing this as a challenge for the whole season, trying to do it less than 50 mil, and it just would not be possible um, to keep Chelsea up, I don't think. Um, I don't know. It's I think with a lot of the players that are on loan, they would be the sort of players, as I said, that would play as a... Uh, well, OK, that's us. We've, we've got our got out jail free card there. And we have a penalty. Batshuayi hopefully we'll put this away with 10 minutes to go and it would give us the first win of the Friday Fun Wheel series <laughs> well that was predictable that was predictable a weak side footed effort there's the goalkeeper dropping the ball again like that so that's happened in my British Steel series it also happened um in the Rescue Rangers game against Celtic and uh, Masonda again another free kick wasted that's three times now I've seen a goalkeeper drop the ball like that I honestly don't know what's going on with it I think there's definitely going to have to be some sort of bug fix um, from Sports Interactive around that it just doesn't look quite right and well we've gone a minute over the extra time, uh, injury time here rather uh, I don't think we're going to get a chance, so a nice boring nil-nil. But it's our first draw of the Friday Fun Wheel Challenge. Um, <laughs> never would you really describe a nil-nil draw as fun. Uh, but, you know, here we go. Actually, Castillo with the ball into the middle. And Bashai should be attacking that. He should, he should be charging in at that near post to try and just steer it in at the... Well, at the near post, obviously. Um... <laughs> But yeah, that, that, that'll be it now, surely. Um, unless the referee doesn't want this to be a draw. No, there we go, no, no. Well, okay, we didn't lose. Um, how did the team play? Well, Batshuayi was six, obviously, with um, missing the penalty. That didn't go well. Terry, standout performance. Ina did not too bad. Uh, central defence. Chalaba played fairly well. Uh, lost his cheek. Not too bad either. Um, but, you know, guys like Kennedy and Musonda had really kind of let us down there, I think. Um, passionate. I'm happy with that performance. <laughs> Just trolling the team here. Anyway, guys, that is it for this episode of the Friday Fun Wheel. Uh, hopefully you did get some kind of enjoyment out of it. But let me know what you think of the series as a whole in the comments section. 
and uh, we'll see whether we carry on with this next week and who we get. So thank you for watching. Until the next time, I'll see you when I see you.